Hi everyone, it's Sarah Berry from stampwithsarah.co.uk. I hope you are well. I have um, some of these in colour bows left over, and when you get them, they come in a pack of uh, 20, and you get the five colours of the in colours. And those in colours are the 2017 to 2019 in colours. Powder Pink, Lemon Lime Twist, Tranquil Tide, Berry Burst and Fresh Fig. Now the colours are carrying over, we've still got another year. But the actual product um, of these bows won't be available come the, um, the beginning of June, the 1st of June. So while I've got them and they're still current, I want to use them up. And they are perfect for this bear from the Baby Bear stamp set. And I'm using the Whisper White note cards and also my Stamparatus because I thought, why not? I'll just show you how to use the Baby Bear with the Stamparatus. So I've got my foam mat here, which I'm going to put down on top of the, um, the, the glossy stamping area. Now I need the foam mat because um, because my stamp is photopolymer and it just raises it up. I'm stamping over onto this side just so it's a little bit away from the hinge because I don't want to put too much pressure on my plate. It won't break it, um, I just prefer to have it over off to the, the side here. Now the bear is made up of three stamps. You've got a number one, and number two and number three and each time it just gets a little bit more detailed so the stamper artist is ideal for this because you can make a batch of cards so you first lay him down my plates are already in place and the great thing about these is that they pull out and you can turn them around and you can move them down um, in stages as well. The same goes for the this one up here as well. There's two little storage areas underneath, um, about here, for the magnets. Try not to use both at the same time unless you are using the whole of the plate. Um, there's really no need to use two um, on a card such such as this because these two magnets um, attract, and when they attract, they bang together and they are likely to break. If you have broken yours, um, you can buy replacements for them um, in the, the catalogue. So I've got now my um, base layer of my bear in place. Flick the plate over and pick it up. I'm going to use a combination of inks. To just start with, I'm using crumb cake, which is a light um, brown I'm going to tap several times over the, the bear so get some even coverage flip it over and press there's number one and now I'm going to use the other side of this plate so I'm flipping him round and I'll use number two you can see the numbers are on the acetate so there's a three and where's the two it's just there there's lots of different combinations you can do you don't have to do a brown bear you could do a blue bear for a baby boy you know try lots of different colors so look over the top, make sure you've got the second layer where you want it and just do the same thing. Pick up the stamp, take your ink, flip it over, press down and you can see it's starting to take shape. Now, because I've run out of sides on this, I'm going to take the plate out for now and swap it over and use the other side of this one. 
Now we want bear number three. And do the same again. Got a little thing on there. Place him over the top. I try and line up the eyes and the nose. Um, but I don't really think you can go wrong with this. <laughs> she says, pick up the bear. Now I'm going to go a shade darker. I'm going to go for soft suede. Depending on when you purchase your inks, this is the old style of ink pad. Nothing wrong with it. Perfectly fine. But Stampin' Up! have taken the opportunity to upgrade their ink pads because the mould for this um, for this pl uh, plastic case was actually running out because the moulds have a life um, a lifespan. So while they were um, they made the decision basically to redesign it and try and improve it and you can see that they've done a great job it's lovely and streamlined they stack because they have the little dots and little um, little uh, bumps on the bottom so they'll sit together and instead of pushing with your thick fingers that won't do anything anymore it opens up like a compact like a make oh my doggy is talking I don't know if you can hear hear her and then it slides. There is a label that you can put on the inside there. And the colour also, I've not, these are so new, I've not even put the labels on. So that's um, that's a quick explanation of the ink pads. And hopefully this soft suede will just bring the, um, the details to life. If you do catch ink on your plate, it's not really gonna go on the card you're not pushing down on there but I like to clean it up so it keeps uh, my hands clean <laughs> in theory now hopefully I've done my bear correctly oh look how cute so then I just want to choose a bow so I might just do the lemon I quite like putting the, the bow off to the side Like that, but you don't have to. And they've all got little sticky pads on. I've done no stick in there. Really nice raised foam. So if you fancy getting some of these bows, make sure you do so before they run out, um, before they sell out. And they're like felt actually, in case you're wondering. Pre-made bows always come in handy. So lastly, I'm just going to grab the thank you from here. Uh, thank you very much. And I'm just going to grab a block. You could do this with the Stamper Artist. But I am not today. Oops. So when you do some more... When you make more of these, your bears are already in place on the, the plates. You just need to remember where you put your your cardstock. And I just made sure my fold of my card was level with the edge of the um the edge of this apparatus. And there you go, there's a quick, very quick and simple thank you card. I will probably just add a little bit more um, detail by rounding these corners and we have a new punch coming out um, which does just that job which I can't wait to use. So I'm just going to make another one. I don't know about you but I always fold my note cards first because you can kind of feel that one side is a bit um, longer than the other it sticks out a little bit more and that's just to they do that so it's easier to open if you're ever wondering so line that up with my edge put my magnet in place and now I want to swap back to number one which was this one and we have 
crumb cake. You can see, I just, <laughs> you can get through so many and you don't really need to think about the placement once you've done a couple. And you've got your, um, your bears in position. You could just do this all day long. Great for cards um, for new babies. Like, thank you for the, the baby gift kind of idea. If you're doing a big batch. <gasps> Love it. Really, really happy with those. And then I just add the message at the bottom. This time I think I'll choose the purple one. Fresh fig, love that fresh fig. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed the video today. Quick and simple, but really effective and that bear really makes um, a great feature on the card. Isn't it clever? Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions about Stampin' Up, if you'd like to join my team or if you'd like to place an order with me, then please do get in, co in contact with me. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.